to The Portfolio. The Portfolio is an exciting new show that takes an up and close personal look at Korean Americans who are living their dreams and inspiring others along the way. And if you'd like to see a particular Korean American on our show, please visit our website and write us a note. first told them I want to be an opera singer, what did they say? <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, at the moment, I didn't, I, I, I didn't do anything, so... You want to do something, go ahead, I want right, to sing, yeah. so, I want to sing, so okay, try. <laughs> Every day when I uh, get to school and then they ask me to sing, young one, young one. <laughs> I just enjoy that moment, but I, I never guessed. That I'll be a professional singer. You quit singing yeah. for a while, right? Yeah, After yeah. college? I got some problems by the broken relationship, uh, singing business in Korea. Oh, okay. So I decided I never get back to this world. Mm. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> the more we interact, the more I can tailor my work to your expectations. Speaking of your Korean heritage, uh, that leads us right into Fighting Grandpa. Yes. I realized this was a story about the two of them. It was about, sure. and ultimately it was a question of whether they were ever in love. So it's, it's all these questions of uh, how different generations communicate and talk about uh, emotion, talk or don't talk about emotion, really, you know, about affairs of the heart. Let's, let's talk about robot stories. There were this kind of, uh, you know, human scale sci-fi stories that each had a kind of goofy robot twist. On After Robot Stories, then, uh, you went to Marvel Comics. Yeah. I hope you don't kill off Amadeus Cho, and I want to talk a little bit about him. I, I, at one point, I was joking around with a lot of friends about, like, you know, crazy Asian names, you know, like parents right. who name their kids Stanford and, and Yale and Harvard. You know, these, 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 you know, these immigrant parents who give these kids these wildly aspirational names. And um, so, it, I mean, I, it just cracked me up, the idea of a kid named Amadeus. Right. I, I also kind of was thinking about the Marvel Universe, and there's a niche, I thought, for mm -hmm. an Asian-American kid there's that little man inside who's saying, there's something wrong here, you need to pay attention to it. Listen to that little man, because otherwise, you're gonna regret it forever. <laughs>